be a champion. Go on, Matthew. Go. Yes, guys, I made it to the Tottenham Hotspur training ground. This is going to be an absolutely mental day because I'll be spending 24 hours as a Tottenham Hotspur footballer. I'm here with Copper 90 and thanks to Amazon, obviously with a documentary coming out, All or Nothing, Tottenham Hotspur, I'll be able to experience what it's like to be like Harry Kane, like Sun, like Winks, like the lot of them. There's going to be fitness training by the first team fitness coach. I've also got a training session later on with Ledley King. Ledley King, yeah. If that's not pressure enough, I don't know what is. But I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited to see the documentary as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that coming out and let's get on into today. But yeah, let's see if my fitness is up to scratch. Let's get into it. So the first thing we did when we got there was obviously unpack. What was actually incredible was I managed to get Hugo Lloris's bedroom in the lodge as my changing room. Obviously because of the whole coronavirus situation, they had to social distance everyone so they couldn't really use normal changing rooms. So instead they gave each one of us one of the players bedroom in the lodge to get changed in. And I got the captain Hugo Lloris's, which I thought that was pretty cool, but sadly can't really show any of that. But what we did get when we got there was some sick Nike gear. Like I managed to get this tracksuit, got the t-shirt to train in, got some shoes, got some boots as well. All gear set to be a football player for 24 hours. Now this is about 9.30 in the morning now and the first thing we did is the fitness training and you can see the concentration in my face here. Totally worrying about my fitness and whether I can hack it for the next hour, hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> and I also partnered with Liam from Copper Knights who's also a Spurs fan by the way so he was, we were pretty much training together throughout the whole day. Now first up was the fitness session and this was taken by Carlos Lallin. He's the head of first team performance and this guy is incredibly infectious. What I mean by that is this guy was able to get you to do any and every exercise possible just by the way he would emotionally motivate every single person in the room. And the idea was he, he would split the session up into, into different parts. So we started first with uh, mobility and dynamic stretching. This was obviously to like get us warmed up into it. But even as a warm up, but I struggled, especially when he made it a lot harder by um, increasing the level of the move or he'd make us close our eyes. Um, yeah, some of it was a struggle and that was just the warm up. Well done, close your eyes, close your eyes, close. <laughs> if you are able to do it, okay, close your eyes. I can't lie, I uh, took any moment I could to rest between the exercises, as you can see right here. Because guys, listen up, it's been like, what, six months that I did any proper exercise prior to this. So, you know, I took every rest break I could. So we just finished the warm up basically. And yeah, I'm sweating already. Time for the power exercise, let's go. <laughs> oh. How did you find the warm up? <laughs> Good, yeah, yeah. Ready for the, yeah, yeah, ready. Ready for the next part. Yeah, yeah ready, ready for, the, for the hardest part of the whole thing. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Pretty level two. Okay, this is where I was heading towards more power training. So this is a lot more explosive movements, but he made sure for us to focus on the reasons why we are doing every move. So this is all about perception and why we were doing what we were doing in these training sessions. And yeah, just check out this amazing clip from Carlos. Right, turn for yourself. It's your experience. One more example. Yeah, for example. For what? Basketball. Basketball. Okay, for basketball, you have to go one, 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 and go. One, one, one. And go for the same thing. No? Yes. Yeah, but good action. It's not like this. You have to go <laughs> and you have to jump. You have to put in your mind the ball. Yeah. The basketball ball, the ball. You have to create point. Score point. Go. You have to be. Hey, you have to be champion. If you don't have here champion, you are nothing. Go. That's the mentality we need. That's the mentality we need. <laughs> Go on, Let's go what again. Come on, now. Better than that. What's, what's the football word? Yeah, Ninja yeah. Messi and just, you know, dribble around people. He was honestly a huge motivator and especially that champion quote. Like it's all about the mentality. You can see with all the training staff here at Spurs right now. And I, I think I can see that in the players as well. But yeah, here are some of the best bits from the power exercises. Enjoy. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, euro. Up, go, up, wait, let's go. Everything is on me. Keep your feet, controlling your power. Keep balance. 
Playing the relaxing music is your time. Go up, hey look, breathe out, open your mouth and open your hands and go again, flex your with him. Be one with the earth. Okay, go. Go up and back. Open your hands, open your hands. You can all the sweat. I think that's the session done. Go home, take a shower, eat, rest, and after in the afternoon, the static stretching. Thank you very much for everything and remember now. One, two, three. Well done. Smashed it, let's go. And I was uh, very fortunate enough at the end of the session to be able to have a one-to-one -one conversation with him. So here's what he had to say about my performance. All right, so Carlos, thank you so much for the, uh, the session. Like, that was tough. It's been like four or five months since I last did some proper exercise. How, how did I do? I think it was good because sometimes it's very difficult because everyone, they have a different levels mm -hmm. of physical fitness condition. No? I have to analyze and, and your condition, I think basically is good. You can see that in the session, you progress very well mm -hmm. from the first exercise to the end. And in the end, we were more powerful and you are able to do this kind of exercises. In this case, right. go home happy <laughs> and increase your performance every day. Yeah, it's a challenge. I'll, I mean, I'll take that 100% going If you from want myself. to say a sport uh, champion, you have to do every day, every day. some exercises. Right mentality to, to Exactly. To and we go in this direction. No? This is our target every day. Was it, was it really tough getting the players to like keep in that mental stage during the lockdown? Yeah. And was it, it, uh, no. Now we have to relax because yeah. uh, this season was harder for us and for the players. But they are very, very good professionals. Like that and the manager created a very good environment in this case and, the, and now in the end we can feel how the players they, they play and they improve their performance and in the end we reach at least this target at Europa League and now we are ready for another challenge. Mentally we have to relax a little bit and physically at the same and we come back in 20 days and let's start again. All right, thank, okay. you very much. thank you very much. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Let's go. So now the fitness session was done, we got to have a shower, get changed and then the next part was really, really insightful. So obviously considering I'm trying to be a Spurs player for the whole day, what they managed to set up was a QA and a talk with Skip and Tanganga, which obviously would help us kind of understand what it's like to go from academy players to the first team. Now this was a crazy opportunity because obviously there were loads of questions left, right and center and they were actually like extremely open about it and they gave their honest opinions on everything we asked and they even had this clip talking about Jose Mourinho. I think a lot of you watching this right now will be surprised on what the players think. I found that he's really approachable to talk to and then you see Jose Mourinho the winner as well. You see after a defeat the mood completely changes and I think he's really Try to install that into the players about creating this mentality of winning. So no, I think it's been amazing to work under him and you've seen what he's achieved in the game, two Champions Leagues. I think that that's something, as a player, you'd be stupid not to learn off and soak up all the information that he's given. He, he's someone that speaks to everyone and, and understands them and tries to get to know them and I, I, I appreciate that for him that he's really able to be able to just go and speak to them about anything. So, for me, he, he's been great and nice to be said. It would be very silly that you don't learn from him, that it's super winner, that the amount of activity he has and stuff. So he's honestly great. We actually obviously got to answer our own questions. And yeah, these are the ones I asked to the boys. Uh, Jeffo, um, what was it like finishing pre season last year knowing you had Ronaldo in your pockets? <laughs> <laughs> we saw the team sheet and we saw our names. It was quite a surprise. And we were all thinking, oh, you really don't want people that are best players. And we see their team sheet and say, you see Ronaldo, you see. Uh, Honestly, it was amazing. I, I look up to Ronaldo so much. It was just surreal to actually be right next to him and there. Honestly, amazing. As like young footballers, like young Spurs players, are you when it comes to new signings, are you excited to see new people come in, or are you more thinking that could have been my chance to then get into the first team? Uh, if you look at it two ways, I think it can really motivate you to show, especially in those first sessions, that okay, you've signed a new player, but I'm still here. I'm still going to show everyone that I can get in the team, that can be better than the team, better than the new signing, whether you are or not. That's the mindset I think we've got to have as a player. 
good for the club. It's a, it's a new addition to try to help the club go forward. Say she, she drive here, she be okay, you go and you sign it, but I'm going to still show you that I'm, I'm here. I'm here to submit my place or get a place. Now the next important thing about being a Spurs pro, which I think a lot of people take for granted, and that is the nutrition. So we were lucky enough to have a talk from the performance nutritionist at Spurs, Craig, and one of the chefs at Spurs. And they were giving a little demonstration, showing us how to make certain foods, giving us really good insight into the players' diets, their demands on match days and training, especially when there's a very, very busy schedule and you've got two, three games a week. It's a very specific formula, and it's actually really interesting to see that, like what the players would actually go through throughout the whole day to be able to have the right amount of energy or even the right amount of recovery if a player is injured as well. They also revealed that some players or staff are, are, are vegan as well, but they couldn't say who it was. Obviously, that, that kind of stuff is confidential. But I thought that was quite interesting to see um, the fact that there might actually be some vegan players in the Spurs team. But not only did they talk us through what the players go through, they actually gave us a little taster on some of the food. So here's my experience. All right, let's give us a go. That's actually banging. That's all right, you know. I quite, I quite like that. Yeah, I could have a whole bottle of that. That is good. Collagen and jelly, you know? Yeah. Raspberry flavor is good though. Very good. Now, obviously, after the talk and learning as much as I possibly could about the nutrition intake of a footballer, I actually managed to grab Craig for a couple of minutes to ask him a few questions. So here they are. I was wondering if you were to help me out. So obviously, with the lockdown being quite difficult, I've been trying to uh, obviously go for runs. I found one, it was great because I was getting fitter and I felt a bit slimmer, but I was obviously lost a lot of the muscle. And like, what maybe foods are the best thing to eat to try and maybe maintain that or maybe other exercises to do? Yeah. Like so when it comes to uh, muscle mass, the two main stimulus trying to maintain muscle mass or promote would be resistance training and protein intake. Mainly resistance training. So anytime that training is reduced, the intensity of the body and muscle mass is going to decrease a little bit. What we'll often do is if, say, for example, someone is forced to do that for an injury, that's when maybe we're focusing a little bit more on ensuring that protein intake is high. From a muscle perspective, I would say really just try to do some, even if it's body weight stuff, and then you're really trying to focus on increasing your protein intake as well. One more thing is just more specifically about Spurs, but obviously they had the managerial change pretty much halfway through the season. Do you have to like, provide different plans for different players now that obviously maybe one coach might want to train in a certain way and then another one wants something else? Yeah. Do they ask for maybe something different from their players yeah. and you have so, to change it? There will be a little bit of a change because a lot of our nutrition practices will be centered around the activity that the players are doing. If training sessions are different, if they're longer, if they are more intense, if they're more resistance work, that's going to affect some of the stuff that we put in into play. So that's always going to be the case when there's a manager or coach Change. Well, yeah, I'll definitely take all of that on board and hopefully come back uh, next year a bit, bit bigger, a bit, bit stronger. But yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much. Obviously, all that talking of food and nutrition and everything made us very, very hungry, especially with that intense fitness training in the morning. So we were lucky enough to have lunch and it was a choice between chicken and a tuna steak. Your boy chose the tuna steak. That tuna steak was paying. We obviously had some like fruit smoothies as well, just to bring our energy back up for the afternoon session. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the on-pitch training session with Ledley. King. Right, this is the big moment, the big moment. I am about to be trained by Ledley King and a bunch of the other training staff as well. So yeah, this is not a time to, you know, to muck about, but yeah, I got Time to impress, let's go. Okay, so this just blew my mind. Not only did I get to do training at Spurs, but I was trained by the absolute legend that is Ledley King. Now, I idolized this guy growing up, obviously, when I was, when I was a young kid, going to Spurs every week, watching the matches. He was obviously playing centre-back for us when his knee would let him. But what was pretty surreal is that we were technically his first session as an assistant coach. But what I think was hilarious is, um, look at all my double take when I clock who arrives. And uh, yeah, then me trying to play it cool. <laughs> all I'm saying is, get yourself a Man that will look at you the same way I'm looking at Ledley King here. <laughs> Oh man, this is honestly way too surreal. Way too surreal. But anyway, onto the session. And we first started off by going into the center circle. Your standard warm up. You've got your high knees, you've got your heel flicks, you've got your 
questionable skipping by me. <laughs> and then the next thing they did is that we just had to run around in the circle and as soon as the coach called it, we had to sprint to the edge of the circle and then jog back lightly back in. And I can tell you right now, it was a lot of pressure having Ledley King watch every single move you make in that center circle. But we did finally get the ball at our feet and the next bit was all about control. We obviously did a bit of step overs. I'm, I'm sure Ronaldo would be jealous of that move. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> But then we have the return of the claw. If, if you're new around here and don't really know this or may not have seen some of my TikToks or my Instagram videos, for some reason, and I don't know why, when I'm in super concentration mode when playing football, the claw returns. And you, you'll see what I mean in this clip when I'm doing my kickups. I, I don't know what it is. I think I'm just really tense in my hand. Um, I can do the kickups perfectly fine. That's probably one of the best things I can do with a ball. But for some reason, I have like kind of my hand curled and, and really tense. And it's since been branded as the claw by, by some of the viewers. So yeah, that, that's, I'm not going to be able to live that down now. Now, the next bit, which is pretty funny and pretty unreal, is I actually got complimented by Ledley King for my control. Because of that, I ended up fumbling the next bit and totally just stacking it, which was just really embarrassing because I think I was just completely shocked that I even got a compliment from him in the first place. And yeah, just totally, totally fumbled the bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't on camera, but also I, I, I kind of wish it was. <laughs> Did the under do that? Yeah. It's bad that I'm already out of breath after the warm-up. The warm now into a group little session and we'll see how we're lost. Okay, on to the dynamic tray. It was myself, Liam and Craig Mitch in a group testing our control, testing our passing. After some more passing drills, we moved on into the shooting. Done all the passing drills. Now it's time to do what every player wants to do and that's the shooting. Let's go. Well, all I'm saying is Harry Kane, you better watch out because I'm coming for that spot and no, I'm kidding. I, I, I need your help. Please, please help with my shooting. <laughs> but honestly, it was such a privilege having Ledley. Yeah, we're, we're on a first name basis now. Coach us through the drill. Uh, un until this happened. Um, yeah. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> But then obviously it's your boy's turn. What a beautiful move this was, but it was onto my extremely weak left foot. But that doesn't matter because I find the net anyway. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be too proud of that one. <laughs> and Liam stopped me from getting an assist, man. I was so gutted. We live Liam, we need words, okay? We need words. How are you gonna do that to me in front of Ledley, all right? <laughs> then once all the drills were done, we finished off the session with a very in-depth Q&A with Ledley, congratulating him on his not then official role as assistant coach at Spurs, which he seemed to find re really funny to be fair. <laughs> we talked all things from Henri complimenting him, the training facilities when he was playing versus now, to which he said he, he just wished he didn't retire as early, but honestly learned so much what it was like to be a pro at Spurs because we were honestly talking there for probably like 20 to 30 minutes. But yeah, some Somehow, I don't quite think I'm going to make the team sheet when the restart happens in September. <laughs> but there you have it. What a day. What an experience. Jose, I'll be waiting for my uh, my permanent deal to sign very soon. Should I expect it in the post or do I need to come back to the ground to, to sign? I mean, it's totally up to you. But in all seriousness, I will leave you with the outro from the training ground. Right, so that's it. Training's done. Being a Spurs player is done. What an incredible experience. And I was thanks to the guys at Copper 19. I'm joined by Liam. He's obviously at Copper 19. You obviously were doing the training as well. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find it, man? I was <laughs> gutted. I had one chance to perform in front of Ledley King and I didn't do it. The day was great. The day uh, was unbelievable. The day was brilliant. Got loads of insight, loads of really cool bits. Facilities yeah. are nuts. Yes, yeah, like, stupid. Even this good. pitch was like, it just felt like a beautiful car. This is like pitch number 21 as well. I know, I know. So. Not even the main one. A shame we couldn't get an absolute banger in training just to yeah, impress yeah. that little bit more. But no, all in all, it was an incredible day. And uh, yeah, I don't think our legs are going to be moving in the next couple of days. I'm not going to work for three days. That's nah, nah, that's it. Holidays done. We're sorted. But yeah, unbelievable experience. Thank you again, guys of Copper 90 and Amazon. Amazon, and I'm looking forward to the dot coming out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up and above. Wish I'm